This is a review of the CVT Mount Rainier. So here's what it looks like from the outside. About the same length as the roof rack, if you can see. Works perfectly on a 4th Gen 4Runner. Have the annex room attached. Works perfectly as a second bedroom or cooking area, whatever. Christina approves. Got the garbage hanging right there. What the heck? Got three doors on the annex, which works great. Got another tarp under there. There's PVC. There's a PVC lined floor at the bottom, um, which works great. But we had five people total camping here. We had myself right there. Um, we had another guy right there. And we had the girls up top. So you can see the room is really big and really well ventilated and screens and then above the screens are more canvas so you can roll that down if it's cold or if it's raining um there is a rain fly up top when i go inside it's permanently on there oh, this is the pioneer series by the way i don't think i said that um we've got the little um let's see uh, these dormers if you want to call them that uh but keeps the rain off the, the tent Rain fly goes all the way across and is permanently on there. Um, or not permanently, you can take it off, but it's nice when you unfold it, it's just right there. You got windows here, here, on the back. Um, and then the overhang, the ladder's right here. Uh, the overhang is totally covered, so if it's raining, you can make this your kitchen um, and have your bedrooms upstairs, or in our case, just use it for extra bedrooms. So we had a car full of five people, and this is our only tent. We'll go inside now, take, take shoes off. You want to it up there? Yep. So we had all our stuff. We use this in the middle for storage. I have all our stuff here. Another nice thing is, if you look in here, this whole wall is a zipper. What's that do? I'm doing a review. Uh, this whole thing is a, a zipper. So you can literally zip, unzip right here and have access to your vehicle. I can get in my rear passenger door. No problem, and, and actually done that in the middle of the night when you don't want to get out of the tent. It's got little hooks for mounting a lan lantern. Got your ladder right there. And it's a real uh, real solid piece of, uh, of equipment. And then you've got the ladder that is your support. And also for getting up, obviously, getting up top. So we'll climb on up. You can see how it's little, little braces everywhere. Most people have cleared out of here. The girls have pretty much cleared out, but get up here we got, we got windows you just literally come down and you got screen you can see right on out you got that on all, all three sides so it gets really light and airy we got some string lights hanging up here the real nice thing is on the rain fly they have the stargazer you can roll that up so you can literally have they have two of them you can literally be <coughs> looking out um, at night at the stars which is really sweet uh, of course you can zip all this up if it's really cold and you need to keep the heat but uh we've also got permanent ventilation vents on both sides so even if you're totally sealed up you're still good and then of course most of the time we'll just leave this open at night when we have the annex attached um, which gives you a great view now and again, you really got all the, this. This is the Rainier um, on a Forerunner again. So the Rainier is a California King. They say it's a three plus, but you really can get four up here. Um, and uh, you could really do the same down below. I mean, it was just me and the other guy, but we could get uh, we could probably get four up here, four down below. Um, and then if you really wanted to get. Uh, more people you could get to in the back of the forerunner if you laid the seats down. So hop back outside real quick. Zip this back up. This is breaking down.
Oh, and then you have little shoe bags as well. You got four shoe bags total. Um, one, two on each side. You got all these little ground pets for hanging stuff, lanterns, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is basically it. Let me hop back outside. I'll show you guys the, uh, the outside one more time. And the annex floor has got a really nice, it's the same thing that cover is made of, yeah, a car cover. It is this uh, nice material, real thick, waterproof material. The annex is also stakeable. I'm going to stake it down. Like we did in all four sides. And again, having uh, three different access points is great, so you don't have a single door to get caught up in. But yeah, this is basically it. I wrapped it with rubber bands. Here you can see the skylight. And totally, you got a lot of headroom. I'm six foot four and it's, I have no problem walking around in that room. It's warm up here. Yeah, it holds the heat. Michael, who are you talking to? So there you go. The internet. <laughs> the internet's, the internet's is calling. go so again really nice little package I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's folded down there's a head-on shot pretty cool all right guys I'll show you there's a little video of how the annex room attaches and detaches the zipper and there's a little uh, little connection in there you just run along the inside of the tent Here's kind of a view of what it looks like. Just the rooftop tent or the ladder. This is what it folds down to, cover on. Just packing it away. You guys can see how it just tacos on itself. It's got the zipper, the zip right up. There you go. Folds up real. Nice and tight. You guys can see over here. Full length of the rack. Just the stock. That's the stock uh, bars with the Rhino, Rhino crossbars. Rhino rack crossbars. So you can see. This is how it's attached. Brackets. You get these aftermarket Rhino rack. It's Vortex bars on the factory rails. And then we've got basically two bolts for each one. So there's just stock bar, stock cross bars. Alright, you can see. And it honestly doesn't make much wind noise at all. It's very quiet. Pretty mean.